next a to brace of you banks are waiters. The most well, looking famous magnificent. father and son in boxing. Looking magnificent, chaps. How are you? Very good. You good? Very good. Uh, you're on celebrity <laughs> goggle box. Why? It's fun television. <laughs> huh? It's fun. Is it? Yeah. I was finding it a bit weird. So they just goggle box, they just watch TV, right? Do they go into your home? Are they in your home? Are we actually filming that? We're on we're air. On yeah. air yes. We're on air, yes. We're Look, in my if, house. If, at the you, if you look yeah. at the camera we're on and air. you look yeah. at the screen, the nation we're is on. listening to you. <laughs> right, OK, well, yeah. It's Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that what, what there, was slightly right? confusing was the relaxed way in which you just kind of strolled across the yeah. studio at yeah. the beginning of that item. Right. I think it made everyone I'll think we were just in rehearsal. I'll professional pugilists on their toes, isn't it? Yeah, well, now I am on my toes. Bring it. Tell us about Gogglebox, go on. Yeah, they're filming it at my house um, and it's been fun. We, we don't really get to sit down and, and relax and watch TV like that, so mm. spending three hours a week watching TV with the old man, it's, uh, it's, You're gonna it's been a good experience. You're going to do us You do Good Morning Britain? Always. No, but you're going to be watching it for Gogglebox, I mean. You're going to be commentating on me. You're going to be giving me a critique. If you do something controversial, which you always do, then I'm sure <laughs> we're going to... You both have very good diction to the way you speak. Mm. You don't have like as a punctuation mark. This whole or debate right. about Love Island basically dumbing everybody down. You guys, I mean, you've obviously instilled it in your son, the importance of speaking the language properly. Yeah, well, being able to articulate and uh, get across... Uh, your perceptions, it's important. I went to private school, so I think that definitely had an effect on how I... Uh... But I went to a comprehensive for six years, two comprehensives. I, you know, I didn't feel the need to suddenly Neanderthal myself. It's like, I know lots of people from state schools, <laughs> mates of mine, who speak perfectly good diction and perfectly good English. But let's feel the need to have this ridiculous like, 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 like. It's, they sound like morons, <laughs> don't they? You're so, you're so damning. It's just a colloquial way of speaking. It's not. It's not. Chris Eubanks, Jr., have you been asked to be on Love Island? Is it something you would consider? Um, people have asked me that. Would I ever do that? Yeah. I think at this stage of my career, it's not something I really need to do. Um, no, mate, no. You, see, you that's do not so, need to do this. That's so interesting you say that at this stage of my career, it's not something I need to do. Because we were just hearing from Laura, it's not about your career, it's actually about finding love. Right. It's a dating show. OK. But do you see it more as a I see career it as, development as show? as young, up-and-coming... Uh, you know, people looking to get their exposure. Yeah. I don't think they're really going on the show thinking they're going to find real love. I think oh. that they're just... They want to be on TV. I, I've had that exposure already, so I don't really need to go on there. But after I've, the romantic after I've retired, illusions of the viewers. Maybe I'll come on there. We'll see. Chaps, just what we got you. Let's talk a bit about boxing. Anthony Joshua. A stunning defeat that he had, when everyone assumed he was, like, this supreme champion, he was going to maraud his way through, you know, and win for years. Bang! The, the short, fat guy knocked him out. And he right? goes. What's next for Anthony Joshua? When that happens to you as a boxer, what's next for him? <laughs> what's next for him? Listen, in my opinion, he's a good friend of mine. I know, I know who, how he is as a, as a person. Um, I've dealt with defeat myself in the past, and, you know, any champion, any fighter worth their salt is, uh, is going to make... You know, they're going to make a great comeback. They're going to learn from the mistakes. How do you mistakes. think he lost that fight to a guy like that? It's, it's tough. There's, there's a lot of rumours. There's a lot of speculation. Uh, what are the rumours? In my opinion, I think he just... He underestimated mm. the, uh, the, the danger of Andy Ruiz. Maybe maybe didn't prepare mentally, physically for the fight. And, you know, it, it cost him. But I think in the rematch, he'll, he'll, uh, he'll do what he Chris Senior, what, what it really did for me, which I was thrilled about, is it put us fat guys back into the realm of really people who should never be underestimated in a boxing ring, right? Not you, me. <laughs> Well, that was, well, fat, P-H-A-T, pretty hot and tempting. <laughs> oh, Thank you, nice, Chris. Thank nice. Thank you, Chris. I'm glad you noticed that. No, but, I mean, sometimes if you look at a boxer like Ruiz, you might really, you know, I guess anyone who's in supreme physical condition might go, well, this guy can't beat me. Mm. Is that what you think happened with Joshua? Um... Mm. Maybe. I wrote a tweet uh, the day before, and um, two tweets, in fact, so, if you find them, have a mm. look at them. Mm. Uh, so... What did you say? You know... <laughs> Andy Ruiz is a, is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Mm. Right. Don't underestimate the A lot of people in the boxing community said, don't underestimate this guy, because mm. he's got a very good record. Mm. And he showed him. He didn't just knock him out, he beat him up. Trojan for about horse. three runs, huh? Trojan horse. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Uh, Tyson Fury, 
uh, had a very good win in Vegas. What do you make of Tyson Fury as a boxer? I think for boxing, he's great. We need characters. Yeah. He's a showman, which I like. He put on a show in Vegas. Mm. You know, the whole wearing the Apollo Creed gear, mm. all the thing. You know, you were like that. You were a showman, as well as being a great boxer, but you were a showman. You believed in the theatre of the sport and the event as well, right? I thought it was the way a fighter was supposed to behave. Yeah. Um, yeah. With a, a dignity, with a, you know, a stealth, uh, with uh, an attitude. Um, and a proudness mm. and, a, you know, a majesty. So yeah. it, it kind of worked for me. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, guys, it's great to see you. Mm. You're both looking... Um, how many... When you get together, you, you're very <laughs> similar to listen to and to look at. Mm. You're very... I mean, do you think you're similar characters? I hear that a lot. I hear that I look like him. I hear that I sound like yeah, him sometimes. Yeah, you do, yeah. To, to which I apologise because I know I'm not good-looking, you see. And he's supposed <laughs> oh, to be good-looking. You, both very you handsome undersell devils. yourself. You're both very handsome devils. That's why I'm looking forward to watching Gogglebox, actually, with you guys, because you are... You, you play off, off each other well, I think. Yeah. We're, 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 we're similar, but we're very different at the same time, and that comes yeah. across well on... And the... who would win if you had a fight, probably? Oh. Father be son. And your prime. People always ask if we ever sparred or, you know... Have you? Me that no, I, I could, could never... Could you hit your dad no, on that? No. We, we don't have that type of relationship. I could never put my hands on him. Chris, in, in your peak against your son at his peak, who would have won? You'd actually have to have a fight in the ring. Well, if he'd listen to my... <laughs> to you? Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> to my strategy, then he would win. But, really? Yeah, because it's all about... Uh, you've got to use your brains. Mm. Uh, it's just about intelligence. Um, a lot of know, people don't realise that boxing is actually more mental than mm. physical. It's not actually Listen, when I, when I, The reason I love Lennox Lewis, for example, I just celebrated the apprentice with him in America. For six weeks we were together. Did you we, knock him out? No, we play, I did, but we played chess 40 <laughs> times, mm. chess, and he beat me 39 times oh, out I of love 40. That. And I was stunned. He was taught by his mum. Mm. And I, that made me realise, never underestimate a boxer's intelligence. He, yeah. is, he is brilliant, yeah. He's a Very a smart guy, time. very smart guy. It's great to see you both. Thank you so much. Yeah, and if you in. do us on Gogglebox, you better be careful. If you start on a thing, yeah. we'll be back at you. Mm. We, okay. we, 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 we'll, only, we'll be careful. we only send out love and light. Oh. Exactly the same as me.